Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got a bit of space weather, a bit of eye candy, an excellent academic dissertation on magnetic navigation, a wild solar storm possibility, and a fun chart I made to help catch our new buddy HOMATH up to speed on the disaster, which I'll share with you. Over the last 24 hours, a minor coronal hole stream reignited the solar storm condition, but at low level, nothing major and waning back this morning. Eruptive behavior was minimal, no flaring, and the filament snaps were collapses, not ejections. And while we're eyeing new sunspots, spots. With the calm in general, let's go to Chandra, where a bland portion of space becomes a lot more interesting in x-rays and radio waves. They say two galaxies collided pretty much head-on, so much so that their attraction has now stopped the motion and they are going to come back the other way to impact again just in billions of years. Up next, excellent dissertation on bird navigation, focusing on unusual sightings and misdirection flight events. Key portion of the work includes the prediction of those, what are you doing here, bird, you don't belong here, type of events, based on geomagnetic solar storms. Title of this one says it all. Now, they are careful to restrict it to planets with weak magnetic fields, but it's honestly a relativity question. Plug in your own numbers in their model equation and, yep, a big enough blast from the sun will flip the polarity of Earth even if we have a strong magnetic field or did. Of course, we're losing ours right now. Folks, I'm trying so hard not to bother HOMAF too much, but he's interested and always short on time. So we practiced the quick look information delivery he loves so much. You can pause, screenshot, save. I'm also going to post this on X later today so you can grab it there. It's the confidence levels for aspects of the event and the location safety selection criteria at the bottom. Folks, the dome workshop this weekend is coming at Observer Ranch. I'm excited. Pole shift conference next weekend, prepper events the weekends after that. Conference repeats monthly with new updates and don't forget observer speed dating end of July. That's going to sell out by the way. Tactical training. You want to spar with me? That's the start of August. Lots happening at Observer Ranch the rest of the year and we can't wait to see you. It all starts at observerranch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.